Hey guys, welcome back to How to Drink. We're here with Nikki Sinceri, expert mixologist, and she's gonna show us how to make the white Negroni. This is a new cocktail, actually. There was a guy, his name was Count Negroni. No joke, <laughs> this is real life, guys. His name was Count Negroni in Florence um, in 1919. He wanted an Americano from his local bartender, but he said, you know what, I don't want soda in it. I would like it with gin instead. So he wanted a beefed hardcore. up version. Yeah, super hardcore of him. That Count Negroni knew how to drink. Then was born the Negroni. Have you ever had Negroni, by the way? I have not. Well, um, Unless I mean, you're talking about my ex-boyfriend. His name is not Negroni. <laughs> I actually don't know how a white one would be different from a regular one. So the Negroni is red. A huge part of it is that Campari. Campari is, a, is an aperitif. So an aperitif is something that would get you ready for your meal. It's like a eat. boozy appetizer. Yeah, it's a boozy appetizer, which is cool. I like that. <laughs> They're, they exist out there. I mean, vermouth is another one that's an aperitif. Um, As opposed to a digestive. Like yeah. uh, Fernet, is that one? Yeah, that is definitely Learning. one. Very good. I'm so <laughs> impressed with you, T. So Campari um, helped aid you in your digestion, but if you drank it as an aperitif, it's, it means you're planning ahead. And then Which you're very smart. most drunks don't do. Italians do it, weirdly. <laughs> you have your aperitif and your digestif, so they, they act like, you know, double duty. Just one on the bottom and one on the top, just pushing it down. So Campari is what makes a normal Negroni red, and if we're making a white Negroni, we can't have that. Yeah, you can't use Campari. Um, some recipes use Lillet, which is not the same flavor profile. Um, there's a few other things out there, but I came across this company. Um, it's from Colorado, uh, Breckenridge, Colorado, and they make a bitters, Breckenridge bitters. The flavor profile was so similar to Campari, I was very excited when I tried these, because then I could finally make a white Negroni. I have a little bit of grapefruit bitters here to kind of round out these bitters and make them taste a little bit more citrusy. And then also, the vermouth that you were using in your Negronis too is also a red vermouth. So Carpano made a white sweet vermouth. Booyah. I was so excited when I came across all of these. I'm like, cool, white Negroni time. It's like the first thing that I thought. So, and then we have a London Dry gin here. I love Beefeater London Dry, um, and this is their artisanal one that they made. I love it. I think that's Gorgeous. pronounced Artie's anal. <laughs> and an orange to use the peel on the top. And use all equal proportions in a Negroni, by the love way. Love those. Because everybody screws these up. I don't know <laughs> what it is. It's like the simplest drinks, everybody messes up so much. So equal parts, guys, equal parts. Let's get started. Let's grab our gin. So one ounce of gin. And grab one ounce of Carpano Bianco. One ounce of your Breckenridge bitters. There's the gold. Booyah. And do um, two shakes of your Scrappy's grapefruit bitters. I do love grapefruit. We got our ice. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna stir these. Do not shake this drink, dear God. <laughs> I see that happen a lot. So you want a nice velvety, gorgeous texture. Full dilution, as we've learned in previous See, episodes. T, you're getting so good at this. Huh? It's kind of crazy. It's, you're just absorbing it all like a sponge. I learn better when I've got a few <laughs> drinks in me, it turns out. You know what the old saying is? It's, you know, you give a man a drink, he drinks for a day. You teach a man a drink, then he gets a show on YouTube. Is and that, that man is? is named T, and also I'm a lady. I think that all this pretty stuff much. is pretty real. It's all real. <laughs> Just strain this right into our glass here. Nice chilled coupe glass for you guys. Yes. Or actually for me, because I get to drink it. Yes, Sorry. you do get to drink it. Gorgeous wash line on there. You want to leave a little space, otherwise you're going to spill it. Just run this right down the side. Nice peel right there. And... I know what she's going to do. She's going to do the old release the, the little, oils. The little huh? release the oils thing. There we go. You see all there this? There it goes. <laughs> and then just hand this off to T. So this is your white Negroni. That's is the that most cool? important step is every time you make this drink, when you're done, you hand it to you me. You hand it to T. Okay? 
White Negroni, guys. I've never had a regular one, but I have a good feeling about the white one. I think the white one's a little bit more approachable um, than the regular one. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, it like develops on you. There's like several notes mm -hmm. of flavors, flavors in there. And the grapefruit bitters actually really come through. Like yeah. you can really, really taste them. It's great. Don't try to order this at a, at a regular bar, by the way. This is something that very few bars will actually make, but it's something that you can, you know, make at home. Um, all these ingredients are relatively cheap. Um, all these bottles should be around under $20 or so each, so. I like that. Yeah, exactly. I know all you guys are complaining that things were expensive, so. And Negroni is, it's just, it's just a really wonderful cocktail. It's a great starter to your meal. And like I said, it'll aid in your digestion. You're actually just, it's a health tonic. You're doing this for your health, guys. To I'm getting health. healthier right now. Just look at <laughs> look at how much healthier I'm getting. It's true. Mm. I'm glowing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's like antioxidants in there probably. I don't know. Give me some. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for us this week on how to drink. But let us know in the comments if you try out the white Negroni recipe for yourself. It's yeah. actually very approachable. It's a great sort of entry level Negroni. Mm -hmm. And also leave comments letting us know what other new drinks you'd like us to make here on the show because yeah. We're not gonna do it exactly as you asked. We're gonna do it the Nikki way, which is better. <laughs> it might be a little better. Yeah. <laughs> or by mine, I mean it actually will be a lot better. <laughs> it works out for me every time. It does, see? You, you're learning all kinds of stuff every week. You're so, impressive. <laughs> subscribe to Taste It for new episodes of How to Drink every single week and hit the thumbs up because we really need a little boost of self-esteem today. I need it every day. This is my self-esteem right here. I know. <laughs> Liquid courage. <laughs> <sighs> the voices are stopping. Mm-hmm.